Potatoes are edible tubers available worldwide and all year long. They are relatively cheap to grow, rich in nutrients, and they can make a delicious treat. Potatoes are a major food and cash crop in the Kenyan highlands, widely grown by small-scale farmers. Regions where potatoes are widely grown are Molo, Nyaururu, Bomet, among other areas. In Kaga village in Nyaururu, we met a group of farmers called Sunrise Group. The group leader Damaris is a well-trained potato farmer. Humidity rains are not conducive to potatoes as this leads to insect pest, diseases, viruses, epidemics. In their research, they hope to find the variety that can thrive in this area as it can be rainy and very cold. Hapa tuko na demonstration farm na kile tunafanya sana sana tunaangalia kuhusu varieties. Vile varieties zitatu zitafanya hapa. Tuko na four varieties tunafanya trial kuna shangi, shelekea, unika na dashlobjin. Sasa ile kilimo tunafanya hapa ni kuangalia zile varieties vile zitafanya, ile itafanya vizuri ili wakulima wao wakipanda hizo. E, kwa sababu tutaona ile hazitakuwa na changamoto sana ya magonjwa. Ile haitapigwa sana na baridi. Tuone ile nzuri. Ndio tumekuja hapa ni wafunze ili wajue vile watapanda viazi na jinsi ya kupanda viazi. Potatoes grow best in loose, well-drained loam soil. Soil with a pH between 5.0 and 5.5 provides for the healthiest potatoes and minimizes potato scrub disease. A soil test either through a professional testing service or with a home test kit determines the pH or provides a recommendation for amendment amounts for lowering the pH and providing the correct fertility. Damaris explains the measures they use as the soil pH in this region was found to be acidic. <laughs> Kifanya test tukapata ni acidic tukaenda kwa agriculture officer na akatuambia ile fertilizer tutatumia kwa hivyo kwa hii shamba yetu tumetumia fertilizer inaitwa baraka na top dressing tukatupia ya mavuno kwa hivyo baraka nayo inatengeneza mchanga ina reduce uh, acid kwa mchanga na ndio unaona tunaendelea hivyo as we mentioned earlier, potatoes thrive well in loose and well-drained soil, therefore plowing of land by use of tractor is important as even the toughest of soil is broken loose to allow the seed sow to the breath. In seed selection, you should start with the healthiest, strongest seed potato to avoid problems and for a guaranteed good harvest. Any potatoes that have a soft spot, crack or bruises or signs of rotting should be discarded. The Sunrise Group leader tells us that when it comes to seeds, they don't compromise. Sisi huchukua mbegu kutoka kwa kalo jigoni, certified seed. Tunakuja na shimbua mitalo zinakuwa zime sprout sikiwa huko zinakuja sikiwa zime sprout na tunaangalia vile zime sprout lazima uchunge uone mbegu yako iko na macho kutoka 4 mpaka 5 na imetoa I, imetoa nini kitaitwa uga acha tuchanganye inatoa inatoa mizizi ya, yake ya kumea ikiwa imemea vizuri uweke kwa shimo ukiweka kwa shimo ukipanga 30 cm from a seed to another one hivyo itachukua muda wa wiki mbili wiki ya tatu zinaanza kuota sikiwa juu kidogo potatoes should be far apart in such that they shouldn't run into each other as they are growing. A space of 3 inches from one row to the next and 30 centimeters from one seed to the next is recommended. Viazi Sio kupanda tu Lazima upime Na ujue Vile utapima Kutoka line baka higine Upima line Unapima 
kutoka line kwenda ingine ni two and a half inches. Ukipima kutoka viazi mpaka ingine, unapima that is a kilometer. Ubeka viazi mpaka ingine. Mambo ya spacing, tunapima three foot kwa sababu, tunataka hii viazi na hii ingine isishikane. Na ukitaka kupata mchanga kutoka, kukupea viazi yako mchanga, utapata bahali pa kutoa mchanga. Uweke hii na uweke hii ingine. Kwa hiyo, hiyo diyo itunafanya, tupime three foot toka laini kwenda ingine. Haya, ukiweka viazi, unaweka one lura kutoka viazi hii kwenda ingine. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu hii viazi ukiweka uki, uki, ukishikanisha viazi, hii itatoa tubers zake na hii toe. Sitashikana kwa hivyo hasitakuwa kubwa. Sasa tumekuja mambo ya kupa. Tunapata begu gani? Shangi. Sasa chamba lazima tuchimbue ikae vizu Ikae vizu Kama sasa tunaona tunakutukwe kwe kidogo Sindio? Tunaweza tukupanda hata ikikuwe na kwe kwe Kwa sababu badai tutapiga nda Tutapiga ndawa Tosha, tosha Ok Sasa Sasa tunasoma mabo ya kupanda Tunapanda viazi Haya, viazi tuko nazo dizo hizi. Sindio? Viazi ikimea, unaona hiko na jisho moja tu diyo imemea. Unaona vile inaringa, hakuna ingine itatoka. Kwa sababu sasa hii imekula ngufu ya zingine zote. Kwa hivyo itaendelea pekea? Na diyo tulipata, kuna viazi moja hiko na stem? Moja. Na tulisema ikiwa na stem moja, unagojea viazi ngapi? Tatu, hadita? Kwa hivu ukiona viazi yako imemea hivi, inafaa ungoe hii. Unaona? Utupe. Na usipande saa hiyo. Uiweke tena. Vizuri. Handi haya yote yato? Yatoki. Kama hii. Unaona? Situko na hii. Unaona imeto wangapi? Moja. Bili. Tatu. Ine. Tano. Unaona? Sasa hii ndiyo begu ya kupanda. Ile imekomaa visi. Na tena, unaona hii, hii begu, umeiweka mahali unangiza. Kwa hivyo, hai kumea visi. Ilimea, shomoni. Lakini hii imekaa mahali, ilipata muangaza. Eh, jie unaona hiko, hiko hivi. Si unaona imetoa hapa, imetoa hapa, imetoa hapa. Mambo ya kuweka begu. Kama inamea moja, ungoe, Hili ingoje ya zingi? Zingine. Tumekubalia na hiyo? Sasa tumekuja kupanda. Sidiyo hii, imemea vizuri. Kwa hivyo, ukipanda, utaiweka, ikiangalia hivyo. Sinaona? Sasa hii yote, itakuja juu. Ingine, utapima na rula. Utatengeneza kajiti kama hii rula. Eh? Ukiweka viazi yako moja hapo, ingine unaweka wapi? kwa nini? Unaweka hapo kwa sababu hii si, si ita sprout ita, 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 ita sprout hii yote itakuwa stems, ndiyo? Kwa hivyo ni hii mea utaleta viazi mbaka hapa hmm? na mbaka hapa hmm? hakuna kubi, kubinyana na hii weke hapa na hii weke hapa kwa hivyo viazi yako sitakuwa na spesi ya kutosha